The following video series will provide many perspectives through the personal narratives of elders and recognized knowledge holders. These videos will also explore how the dispossession of land from indigenous peoples took place throughout what is now called Canada. This project is intended for educational use only. In our words. As indigenous peoples, our ways of knowing are strongly connected to our history, land, animals, and the sky. It is through our history that we will be guided into the future. Our words and our land are the truth. We have something called the Doctrine of Discovery. And basically what happened was the religious community, you know, specifically the Pope, gave those that followed the Catholic way of life permission to conquer, to kill, to destroy indigenous peoples and get their lands if they were not Christians. And to declare that land theirs. And so they set off across the oceans, and that's exactly what they did. The very first person to declare our land was the Spanish. Then it was the French. The French came, and of course they declared all of the Great Lakes theirs. When the British came in and defeated the French, they assumed a sovereignty over this piece of eastern North America. That's how arrogant the British are, right? They just assumed we have sovereignty over this piece of land, over New France, and over the 13 colonies. Jeffrey Amherst, you know, we're hearing about that right now. The Am there's statues to Amherst and Jeffrey Amherst. Yeah, he was a racist. He became the chief, commander in chief of British forces after 1760s, 59. And Amherst, um, thought that he, you know, he captured Quebec, Louisbourg, and Montreal. You know, uh, it broke the back, back of the French Empire, and he thought he would be hailed as a hero when he back, but then, what happens? Pontiac. So Pontiac was an incredible warrior. His whole body was covered with tattoos. And he was known to like the French. He did not like the British. Pontiac attacks Fort Detroit and unleashes his fury on the British forts and that becomes the yoke around Jeffrey Amherst's neck. So during the Plains of Abraham, that's when the British defeated the French and were able to claim title over this land, which was Crown Land. Of course, the indigenous people weren't having it. They were fighting the British at the time. 